In this video, we're going to talk about uh, strokes uh, and borders and uh, how you can easily apply them in Figma. So without further ado, let's uh, go on and we're going to create uh, a rectangle, which uh, we're going to basically bring over here towards the center. And uh, as you're going to see on the very right uh, beneath uh, the fill section, there is uh, the stroke. Now, in order to apply it, simply click uh, on the stroke. Uh, and uh, as you can see, the moment that we do that, uh, we're going to have a basic stroke, uh, which uh, we can uh, barely see in this instance. And the reason being is that uh, the rectangle is uh, quite large. It's uh, almost 1000 plus pixels. So we're going to need to increase uh, the stroke size, which we can easily do by simply clicking over here and uh, we can increase the number. I'm using uh, the up uh, arrow key in uh, the keyboard, uh, but you can also type in any number that you want. Uh, and uh, you can also simply click uh, and uh, hold with the left uh, mouse button over this area in order to basically add uh, or remove uh, a stroke size uh, in uh, a very easy and visual way. Now, one important thing to keep in mind when it comes to the stroke is that by default, it's going to be set to inside. That means that it's inside the actual element, but you can also select it outside. So as you can see, once we, we select the element, this blue line, which basically gives us the borders or containers of this element, is uh, right uh, beneath uh, the stroke because the stroke uh, has been uh, located outside. And you can also center it. So it's going to be a middle way in between uh, outside and inside. So this is going to be key in uh, um, a lot of different uh, nuances, situations. Uh, so definitely keep it in mind. We're going to keep it inside for the sake of this explanation. And uh, as you can see, you can also set uh, the strokes per side by clicking on this uh, icon right here. And uh, this uh, is going to prompt uh, this drop down menu where you can select uh, only to have the stroke on the top, uh, on the bottom, on the left uh, or on the right. We can even customize it. Uh, so that uh, you can uh, actually have uh, certain type of strokes uh, on uh, only certain uh, sides. Uh, and uh, this is going to be quite useful in uh, some specific uh, situations. So it's not something that you're going to use all the time. Uh, my, I personally rarely use it, but it's definitely good to keep it in mind. Now, if you click on this three dots menu, you're going to see that uh, this enables us to access the advanced stroke options. Now, this uh, is, uh, for example, giving us the ability to add a dash. And I'm actually going to simply create uh, a line in order to explain this concept even better. And uh, I'm going to give it a stroke of, uh, say, 62. I'm going to click again on the three dots menu. We're going to use the dash. Now, as you can see, this dashed line is uh, quite big uh, and clunky. So you can uh, actually tweak uh, these uh, um, options uh, by simply using the dash tool right here. And you can uh, basically make it smaller. So as you can see, the smaller it gets uh, the, the number, the smaller also the strokes. And you're probably going to need to tweak also the stroke dimension as well in order to achieve, uh, for example, something which uh, reminds you of uh, a square, um, square dotted line or things of that nature. So it's going to be a combination of one or the two values, uh, depending on what you're looking to, to do. You can also set the dash cap, which uh, if we go back, uh, we turn it to solid. And uh, basically, if we go back uh, and we change this, uh, it's uh, going to be just it's going to be easier to, to show you how the dash cap is going to uh, change. And uh, as you can see, the difference between square and none is very subtle. But if you have a close look at these uh, small uh, icons, uh, you're going to notice that the point uh, in the dash cap of none is going to end exactly where the dash uh, finishes, while with a square, there's going to be 
an extra. So this is going to be very clear at, if you have a look at the left side uh, or actually right side uh, right here. Or I mean, it's going to be the same for both, right? But uh, if you have a look at the, the very edge, it's uh, going to be clear that here the stroke finishes and the dash finishes and uh, there's no any extra uh, element or area. And if I select the square, you can see that now we do have this extra area. So keep it in mind, especially if you're having issues with uh, some stroke related um, illustrations or things of that nature that you're creating. So this is uh, pretty much it when it comes to the stroke. The same also applies for the colors. You can easily tweak them. As with the fills, you can add <coughs> gradients to, to the strokes. You can add uh, even images and uh, uh, video. It's uh, really remarkable what you can do. So you, you're totally free to basically apply these values just as you would with uh, the other uh, controls. You can also change, uh, of course, the it's going to be related to the line. But uh, anyways, with the stroke, uh, you can really do pretty much uh, um, any effect in uh, uh, relation to this uh, feature. So I'll uh, see you in the very next